Hello, everybody. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be giving away a Sci-Fi City Houdini file. I'm also going to share along some tools that help you with splitting the incoming geometry and creating components into suppliers. They will definitely save you some clicks in your future projects. So tag along and let's get going. Okay, let's start by introducing our tools. Let's say you have a kit bash of buildings or sci-fi buildings as I have over here, and they're all merged together or all bundled up and their folders of textures are all different. So you want to bring these into Solaris and uh, correctly create each component separately with the correct textures plugged into them. And what the first initial code does is it imports the kit bash buildings for this case and splits them in positions then in the center of the world. Let's see what it does. I'm going to select my buildings. Voila. So it's created this geometry node called imported geometry. It's bringing in the buildings. It's grouping them by name. You can change this into a shop material and it's blasting them individually. It's also centering them in the center of the world. Perfect. And it's also creating proxies as well. Now we want to bring these into the Solaris network. And for that, I'm going to use the other code that I created. I'm going to click on this and it's going to ask me for a directory of the textures. For this case, I have this directory of new building textures. So I'm going to choose the building directory and click accept. It's going to do its thing. Okay, it's done. Now, if I go to this page. As you can see, it's pulling up each individual component from the split geometry. And then it's assigning its textures. I just want to point out that this code is no way, shape or form is perfect. And it's going to have some faults, especially if the textures names are different, slightly different. It may mismatch those textures. So always try to go inside the material library and double check. Perfect. Now what you can do is create a thumbnail for this and save it inside your USD database in your project file. Okay, here is my Solaris file. And I use the same tools I showed you in part one to separate the buildings and bring them into the Solaris network. I created a library of components as you can see. I'm going to be providing them as well. You can load this database and have access to these library files, or you can uh, do this process yourself. Import the buildings, models, whatever you may have, and then create components out of them. The setup is very straightforward. I literally just referenced these buildings and created variants. I added a set variant node after each asset reference name them differently and I use an instancer. The instancer is a very simple point replication setup where you create a variant attribute onto them. And make sure the variant attribute is an integer using an attribute cast. And I have a, a sci-fi city as you can see. If you're lazy enough if you're lazy to create the animation or the crowd simulation of the sci-fi cars, you can create a still image render and feed it into runway and create a static animation. It actually does a pretty good job, to be honest. And it's good for VFX artists to slowly start embracing the AI tools as well. I hope you like this content. Subscribe for more and see you next time.